Hey everybody, Agent here coming at you with another video. Um, it's been a minute since my last video. Uh, to be precise, it's been uh, three weeks. So the last upload, the last mailbox opening I did was the 1st of December. Um, since then, um, I've been pretty busy with real life and all that. But I finally decided to make time to do this opening and I've saved the last three weeks of gold making uh more casual style i would say um for this video so we're gonna get straight into the video and um and see how much we got for this week uh the last three weeks rather and uh, what's really cool about this is um with shadowlands everything is so volatile and i've been making most of my gold uh on we're gonna be going through four characters um and the only character that I'm actually farming on is uh, my Demon Hunter. All the other characters are basically just crafting. So I'm buying and I'm crafting. So I'm going to go through uh, my um, my ledger here. Uh, not my ledger, sorry, my dashboard here. And uh, as you can see, I've made many investments over the, fa the past uh, few weeks. Um, so as you can see, I went from uh, 2.5 million all the way to today, we are at 643. So quite a dip, quite an investment. Let's see if after we open up all my all our mailboxes, if we could catch this up and at least uh, make some profit. So let's get straight into it. So this is my jewel crafter and miner. Uh, pretty much just buy, oh, and now it's it's Tuesday too, so it's reset. Everybody's buying, so. I have a bunch of uh, stuff probably coming in on the auction house. If we go here, yeah, you see I just relisted a bunch of stuff. Jewel crafting hasn't really been doing good for me. And at the same time, I'm not really investing too much time into it. So we're just going to get straight into it. Um, nothing crazy here, guys. I mean, it's it's the gems. Uh, the gems and a few necklaces that I sold a long time ago. Now they're not selling as well. So I'm pretty much taking it easy. 16K. Nothing to be, uh, nothing to go crazy over. So we're just going to collect all that. So I'm going to put that down over here. I'm going to write it down. 16, 7, 6, 9. Let's get it. So that's our first, our first boy. Which is really underwhelming. All right. So this is my gatherer. Uh, my demon hunter. Um, usually I farm as, um, not as tank spec, as Havoc. So here we go, 266. So basically what I did with this character, I was herb and miner. I decided to drop mining and go for skinning because it was just ridiculous. So I've spent maybe about uh, a few hours uh, on this um, on this character just farming um, some deer um, and stags in Ardenweald. So if you guys want a video on that, let me know. But uh, let's get straight into it. This is basically, I would... Uh, farm it and I'd post it. I wouldn't even care about how much it was. I just wanted to get rid of it. Maybe not the best thing. Always ideal to sell it on uh, on Tuesdays. So maybe for next time I'm going to do that. I'm going to save everything up and just post it on Tuesday to uh, make big, the biggest profits. So uh, this is basically everything that you could get. Desolate leather, uh, heavy callus hide, and uh, just callus hide. So uh, on my server right now it's reset, so it's not a good... Um, a good uh, a good thing to go off of, but oh well, actually, it's kind of is desolate leather, pallet bones, heavy desolate leather, and heavy callus hide. This, I most of them sold them for about 1.5 to 1.8k. So let's get into it. A lot of meats, the tenebris ribs sell so well. Look at that 16 for uh, 1400 gold, and that's a bad price, by the way. get all into it there's not much to talk about here i mean it's really just uh <laughs> opening uh some herbs as well i was selling some herbs shadowy shanks um some random stuff maybe that i would pick up here and there but most of it is really from skinning and uh herbing i would also uh, sometimes send some herbs straight to my alchemist and inscriptionist so that kind of helps for them as well this all up see how much we collected in the past three weeks and this is not three weeks of full farm by the way uh guys like it's very casual farming and i think i only started to do the skinning about like two weeks ago so 264 let's put that in 
264,371. That's awesome. All right. Nothing else in there. So let's go to the next character. All right. So this is my Taylor Enchanter. This is a, I'm really excited for this uh, this boy because uh, right now it's reset day, so a bunch of soul a bunch of enchants sold. Um and this is the most mail I've had in a, a mailbox opening at once. So that's really, really fun. Um, basically, a funny story about this is I had to keep sending myself gold to this character because I kept on buying mats and I kept on running out of uh, gold to buy it. So like over here, I have 79K. And uh, just before I sent about 100K over to this character just to be able to buy some materials. Um, so that's really fun. So like I said, everything here is purely playing on the auction house i'm not farming my own my own uh, shards or anything i'm just buying it uh i am doing a few little shuffles here and there but nothing crazy um except for the soul dust i would say soul dust i'm doing pretty well on that um if not look it, it's really 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 basic what i do is i look over here i see my eternal crystals right so my eternal crystals right now they're 2.8k i know that eternal skirmish only requires one eternal crystal so this one's going to be profit um same thing if you and this like now i'm using eternal skirmish as an example but eternal stats eternal insight whatever you could find um basically that's how i go off of if i buy it or not right now it's too expensive this was at 2000 gold even 1500 gold um uh, earlier today so i bought a bunch of these out uh yeah you see 47 that i bought on uh, tsm that you can see there um so that's how I go. Now, everything's not good, but I bought mine. I know I bought all mine for 2,000. So basically, all of these, uh, int uh, Eternal Bounds, Intellect, Agility, Strength, Stats, Insight, Skirmish, these all I could technically sell for profit, even if I put them at the listed price here. But basically, that's how I go. Same thing with Sacred Shards. So you see right now, they're 210 gold. And if I want to make any of the Ring Enchants, it requires three shards. So 200 times three, it's 600 gold. Right here, not worth it. However, I bought a lot of my sacred shards at 130 gold a pop. So you see, like, that's pretty much how I based myself to make that gold. I might make a video, like, on each profession, um, if that's something that uh, would be interesting. And I think it would be. So let's get straight into this, because this we have a lot. So basically, it's enchants, raw material enchants sometimes. Uh, so you see soul dust here I sold because just normal shuffle. Um, I just started to do the enchanted uh, stuff. And the rest is bags. Uh, honestly, the deep sea bags still sell well. The lightless pouches over here. Someone reset the market, so I hopped on that train. And I sold a bunch of those. If not, the rest is really just uh, buying, crafting, and going. And selling it, rather. I'm going to let this all open. This is going to be a big one. Oh, that's crazy. Almost a thousand males. And same thing with the deep sea bags. I do the same exact thing. I see how much they go for uh, all the materials on the auction house, and I buy, and if they're profitable, I sell them. See, these are all deep sea bags. <laughs> I'm making about a 40 gold profit. Uh, when, I, when you see the 116 over here, I'm making about a 40 gold profit per bag. So you see 117. Keep in mind, all of this is uh, I'm making I'm making profit on it. I, uh, <laughs> I typically you never want to sell for a loss, so just be wary of like how much you bought your materials for and what you're selling it for. See, like right now, this eternal strength I could sell it at a at a gain because right now it's selling for two point five, but I have a feeling that it might go up, so I decided to keep it in my bags. Yeah, the, you see over here the deep sea bags at uh, nine nine gold. Uh, this I wasn't making much profit, let's say. But then again, it also depends on how much you bought your 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 um, tight spray linen and your um, your deep sea satin. So if if I sold it for that much, that means I definitely got it for a very cheap price when I uh, when I decide to sell it. The celestial enchant sells really well. Highly consider that. This is crazy. I'm actually gonna have money on this on this character. <laughs> I'm going to have to re reinvest. I've got to spend money to make money.
say 113, that's really good. The light list silk pouches, pretty good. But it all depends on the market. I mean, right now, um, light list silk on my service on for about 250 gold per piece. So right now there's absolutely no profit to making those. But some people are still going to sell it because they probably bought it when it was lower. So that's uh, that's one of the reasons why sometimes uh, certain markets uh, tank, and reset days is, uh, is no exception. Boys, I think we might be uh, making over a mil here. They're small amounts. That's what sucks. <laughs> They're not huge amounts. That's why I'm excited to go on my uh, on my alchemist and inscriptionist because I sold big amounts. Shrouded cloth bags had a nice run. Some people still buy the hex weave bags. I, I I sold a few uh, pieces of gear there. The shadow lace uh, blues. Oh, so close to the one million. <laughs> It's all right. We'll see how much we made at the end of all of this. Hey, maybe we have a big hitter here. No, it doesn't look like it. It's just, it's just a bunch of bags. Well, that's okay. Hey, if it works, it literally takes five minutes to uh, just craft a bunch of bags and just throw them on the auction house. All right. So let's plug that one in. 846,185. That's awesome. So there you go. And let's see, as you can see over here, I have a bunch more gold coming in. So that'll be for next week. So yeah, 846,000. We're almost at a million on this character. So that's pretty awesome. And let's get to the next one. All right. So this is our alchemist and our inscription character. Um, basically, like I, like I say, if, if something works, just keep on selling it. So for this character, I've been pretty much selling uh, the Vantage Runes. Ooh, they sold. Uh, so Vantage Runes, uh, the missives have been really good. Um, a few potions have been good. Uh, for me, what's been really working has been the Spectral Flask of, uh, of Power. Uh, the missives. Um, what else has been selling really well? Um, a few random stuff. The compendiums, surprisingly, they're still selling really well. So the compendiums from BFA, look, I'm 10K, 13K, 14K, 11K, they still sell really well. Um, so And glyphs, just the occasional glyphs here and there. But I started to sway a little far from the glyphs and go more towards the missives and like Shadowland stuff. Um, so let's get straight into it. This is the one I'm most excited for. So let's see what we can do here, guys. A lot of missives have been selling, especially today, reset day. I put a bit of time to just like try and keep up with the sales. The oils sell pretty well, especially with the death blossom um, price. Very easy to make profits on profits on those. Let's see some more compendium, some glyphs. Some of the Dark Moon cards, I've been selling them uh, individually because the um, the actual decks like are really not worth it. So keep that in mind. Sometimes it's more worth it just to sell the card than to try and like make the full deck. The Codex of the Still Mind that sold really well. Even the the tomes, uh, they sell pretty decently. They're about six hundred gold on my server, but the thing is with the inks, it's really expensive. So over here, I was in a war, so I was just selling so many of them. Here is really when I actually like just stock the, the auction house and just try to sell as many as I could because um, the market was reset on this. What else? Missives, a few random stuff from just doing my, just playing my character. A few glyphs, some more cards. I'm making a bunch of gold. Keep it coming. Some more high, uh, some more compendiums here. Oh wow! Okay, so that uh, th just that batch was one point five 
million but let's keep going I tried to get into cooking cooking doesn't really work on my server so that's unfortunate but it is what it is let's see a few random uh, missives here as well the missives are such a fluctuating market they're really volatile all right so there we go so how much is that Ooh, that's really close one million nine hundred and eight hundred and thirteen thousand gold boys do you want to know how that how much that comes out to that comes out to a total mailbox opening of three million twenty eight thousand a hundred thirty eight gold insane insane and over here if we look over here there we go 1.9 million just on this character so inscription alchemy uh seems to be the clear-cut winner um but let's go see in our ledger our dashboard sorry okay this is what i like to see so this is this is going to be profit guys so this is really cool to see how much we were at um so let's say 2.5 2.5 we invested we invested a bunch of gold but we went basically from 2.5 to 3.671 so about 1.1 million gold in actual profits and once again this is just from going out in the world uh, not even going out in the world sorry not going out in the world just staying at the auction house, buying a few things, and selling it. So um, there you go, guys. Three million in sales, 1.1 million in actual profit. Um, and there you go. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Uh, I really like making these videos. It's, uh, it's kind of fun just to, uh, you know, see your progress and see how much gold you can make with gold, um, with crafting, with flipping. Uh, flipping is so important. And uh, that's it. If you guys want any uh, any tips, tricks, let me know. If you guys want maybe a breakdown on certain professions, uh, it would really be fun to, uh, to maybe start a little series. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like, give it a comment. Subscribe if you want more uh, tips and tricks. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone.